How's it going everyone? Hope you're having a great day. In this video, we're going to look at how to add or undo a drop shadow in Adobe Illustrator. Now drop shadows are rasterized elements in Illustrator, so they may really slow down what you're working on depending on how well your computer can handle it. So, so be wary when you have a lot of drop shadows going on and maybe make them one of the last effects you try to add. And also remember that drop shadows aren't necessarily going to be exported as vector files. It's really more for that final effect that you're applying to your artwork if you know exactly how you're going to be utilizing it out in the real world or online. Let's hop into Illustrator and take a look at drop shadows. I have two basic shapes here, just a circle and a square. The reason is I'm going to show you how to add a drop shadow here and then maybe also to a group. So I've got one object selected here. I can go up to effect, down to stylize, and then find drop shadow. Now I already see the drop shadow out here because I have the preview box check marked. I would recommend checking that so that you can see the changes that you're making to your drop shadow. You can adjust the mode of the shadow itself. That's how it's gonna blend into the background or any layer underneath it. And then of course, opacity, your X and Y offset are kind of like your distance setting. So this is how far away your drop shadow is. So if we just hold shift and bump that up with our arrow keys a little bit to 30, notice how the drop shadow moves offset. So you can do the X, which is horizontal, and the Y, which is vertical. Opacity, of course, is how see-through or transparent. We could do 10. One quick tip on these is when you type in a number, you can hit tab. It'll take you to the next one, but it'll also input that number so you can see the change over here without accidentally hitting OK. And then you can adjust the blur, which is kind of like the size in some other program. So this is basically, I think, a better description of the blurriness of your drop shadow. And if we up this back to 75, we'll actually be able to see it. So anyway, you'll see I made a bunch of changes here and they're represented out here. You can also adjust the color as well. And then darkness if you wanted to do it that way. But I like just doing color and then I know what effect I'm getting out here. I can hit OK and now we have a drop shadow on this shape that moves around with this shape. And as you scale up and down, it also will scale the effect if you have that selected over here in your properties panel, scale strokes and effects. If we back out and remove that drop shadow, Commander Control Z just to undo there, I could grab both of these, hit Commander Control G, that's a right click down to group or ungroup. So now I have a group of objects. You can apply the effect stylize, drop shadow to a group of objects as well. So we can do the exact same thing here. I'm gonna drop this blur down so we can see that drop shadow better. And I'm gonna hit okay. So now it's applied to the group. If we were to ungroup this group, we lose that effect. And also, if it's a group or even if it's just a single object, once we've applied that drop shadow but we want to edit it, we can go up to the window drop down appearance and bump out our appearance panel and you'll see either a group or it'll say it's the object. Underneath contents, we have the drop shadow effect. We can toggle that on or off and we can click on this drop shadow link to bring back the drop shadow effect and we can maybe back that up a little bit and hit okay. And now it's 50%, we can edit it that easily. We can also add a lot of other effects and you could add your drop shadow effect from here as well under stylize drop shadow. That's pretty much everything I can think of in regards to drop shadows, adding them to groups or objects individually. Note when you add them to the group, it's gonna add it to the group as a whole. So if you ever ungroup it, you're gonna lose that drop shadow for that group. So you might wanna add them individually instead, just so that you can actually not lose it because you can then group those objects together, each with their own individual effects. If you're looking to undo a drop shadow, that's how you would do it. You would go to that appearance panel, hide or unhide it, or you can even delete it from there. I'm Spencer from Pixel and Bracket. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more tips, tutorials, and more on Illustrator. And I'll see you guys in the next one.